ITN. Some of the highlights of our first year. Olympic year, and ITN cameras follow the big athletic events. At the White City, Chris Chataway, running his first big race of the season, fights it out with Derek Ebertson in the three miles. It was a thrilling last lap with Ibbotson snatching the lead from Chataway a few yards from the tape. ITN will bring you more exciting moments of sport from the Olympics of Melbourne in November. This was a vintage year for cricket. Britain kept the ashes thanks largely to Jim Laker, the bowler who became the nation's cricketing hero. He spoke to ITN outside the Oval, fresh from one of his triumphs. In addition to bringing you the cream of the big sporting events this year, ITN gave special coverage to the fortnight of lawn tennis at Wimbledon. A meeting of the Giants in the singles final, Hode versus Rosewall. And so the day went to Lou Hode. Shirley Fry, winner of the women's singles, battling her way through to the center court and the tense hush of the final. Cambridge win the boat race by a length and a quarter after a tough struggle. But ITN goes beyond the routine coverage of sporting events. Out in the channel at night, our cameraman got these pictures of Florence Chadwick, ordered by her trainer to abandon her record attempt. She wanted to go on. The Winter Olympics Cortina. Once again, you were able to see for yourself. racing to victory in the German Grand Prix and hot on his tail, the British driver Sterling Moss. Fangio is still favorite for the World Championship title but Moss is obvious heir to those laurels. The Monte Carlo Rally, ITN cars joined in and every night you could share the thrills with the men at the wheel. You could also share in the triumph of a British victory, Ronald Adams in a Jaguar. It's been a big year for British successes. We now hold the speed records for land, air and water. Donald Campbell pushed the water record even higher in Bluebird. And in the sky over Britain, a new aircraft, the Ferry Delta, broke all records for conventional planes. 1,132 miles an hour and the pilot of this aluminium dart, Group Captain Peter Twist. On April the 18th, the cruiser or Johnny Kidsey brought Marshal Bulganin and Mr. Khrushchev to Britain, and ITN cameras took you to Portsmouth to watch them arrive. first Russian leaders to visit the West since the revolution. Here was history in the making, and you had a close-up view. The cameras stayed with B&K, even on the whirlwind tour of London. <laughs> 